drapes. That's perfect. Good. Juan Quixote on Main Street should have you covered then. Trading cards can make you stronger, so let's stock up. Here we are. Oh, these look amazing. Fresh strawberry crim crepes for me. Hmm, maybe tuna curry for me. Weren't you in this for the sweets? The stomach wants what it wants, okay? What are you gonna get? Hmm, apple cinnamon creme with cake topping me. <laughs> and guess the influence of a maiden's heart can make even scams like this seem appetizing, huh? Voila! Here you are! Bon appétit. Don't mind if I do. Mm, 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 mm. Ah, this is overbearingly sweet. Well, mine was delicious. You're already done? Well, how was it? Were the hearts and stomachs of you beautiful maidens adequately satiated? Hmm. No, 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 no. I mean, it was good. But maybe I wasn't actually feeling crepes after all? What? Man, you are fickle. So if not crepes, then what? Maybe some ice cream. Yeah, that's it. Ice cream. I'm thinking ice cream. Ice cream, huh? Yeah. Nothing beats a cold cone outside the Horace building after class. Great way to unwind. Hmm, somehow I'm craving it now, too. I don't think I understand your maidenly stomachs at all. You know what you have to do. So lead the way, dingus. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Let's head to Etri by the station's electric town exit. Sounds good to me. Forward march. Wanted. You're not even planning to buy me any, are you? Saki! Saki! Mm, this is so good. The strawberry soft serve is really tasty, too. Oh, whew. you actually did get one for me. Well, your choice of flavors is a little odd. Vanilla for me and edamame for you? Yeah, I know. It's not as sweet, but I just kind of had a nostalgia attack in there, I guess. I used to eat this after school all the time. Oh, yeah, you mentioned that before, too. A cold cone outside the Horace building after class or something, right? Did I say that? Huh. Did you eat ice cream every single day? What? 
No, of course not. I'm not that much of a glutton. How can you even imply that of a lady? I mean, I did have it a lot, but it was always after sports meets and stuff. Oh, what sport did you play, Saki? I was the city rep for track and field. That was more than a year ago, though. I'm actually really curious to hear all about your high school days, Saki. That's not a particularly interesting tale. I wore the same clothes and went to the same school as everybody else. I was the go-to pinch hitter during athletic festivals, though, so I wound up participating in a dozen or so events. And whenever there was a cultural festival, I'd make Western-style clothes, even did some fashion shows. Ah, <sighs> the good old days. Wow, that sounds like every schoolgirl trope ever. I somehow would have expected something a lot weirder from you. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? It means you're an odd duck, Saki. I wish I could have seen you in your school uniform. I bet it was cute. And those were fun times, but I was a little too popular, you know? Things were always crazy around Valentine's Day. That's totally a lie. No, I'm serious. The thing is... What? Saki went to an all-girls high school. Pinkoon? Wait, so you're saying you got valentines from other girls? Uh, well, that's... It's okay, Saki. I totally get it. I can totally... understand. He went in. Then my hunch was right on the mark. Do you think Yamato is the deluser behind this delusion then? Too soon to say. All we know for sure is that he has some connection to it. But no matter what that connection is, it's dangerous to go in alone. We need to get in there and help right away. Into the delusion scape then? Please be certain you're well prepared. It's a collectible shop. Perhaps we can buy some trading cards here. It's a very general store with many very general goods on offer. 